Hello and welcome back to episode 22 of Control. I'm Vic and you're watching yet another Let's Play channel. So, uh, before I started the episode I thought I would wander around a little bit and see if I could do some grinding. And I remembered that there was this doorway that I hadn't been able to get into, um, but that levitation would make it possible. So we're going to do that and then we're going to get back on mission. So it looks like this is another one of those areas that's overrun by the mold, but it's not one of the ones that hurts me, which is nice. I still don't know why some hurt me and some don't. And I don't know what to do about that. It's sounding kind of half-lifey in here. So hopefully that means that there's something exciting. Maybe. <gasps> Disappearing ducks. Great. Well, isn't that interesting? Altered item number 52 AE analysis, session two. I will begin by introducing various stimuli to the item. First, a low voltage electric shock. I think we listened to that already, so I'm going to move on. Okay, so we're playing a game of hide and seek. Does it move around? Uh, okay, maybe it'll stay in this room. That would be nice. I hear it. I don't think it's in here anymore. There it is. Is this going to be a fun episode? Or is this going to be lame? missing. Is there something I'm supposed to do? Alright, well neither of those things seems to impress it, so... Is it that easy? Finally, no more quacking. <laughs> okay. So the next thing that I want to get on is Langston's Runaways. Oh, actually, I did accept a Hiss Nodes mission, so let's see if we can do that real quick. Transit corridor north in containment. <laughs> Well, where is transit, transit corridor south? Okay, so, um, this is physically closest, but I don't think it's actually connected to what I want. Are you seeing this? I just keep pressing the up arrow over and over again. Why are you doing that? Alright, well, I guess we're just gonna hope for the best. Oh, wait, is this where the angry cloud is? No, that's the archives. Okay. Yeah, I don't think Levitate is really a very good combat power. That's that sounds like a bad idea. Loading screen. I don't I don't think I'm gonna do that. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, so what I want is to get to the turntable. So let's give this a shot. until the fight's over. Transit corridor, prime candidate program. Don't tell me that I can't get there yet. Why would you give me a mission in a place that I can't go? What could be less cool than that? that if you want to read it. I hope I opened this shelter already, but I feel like I've been missing stuff. I did. Good. M for map. So that's... Transit corridor definitely looks like it ought to be that direction. Nope, still not M for map. Yeah, that's not... Not where I need to be right now. Okay. really feel like I'm getting ever closer to being able to hear what the hiss are actually saying. August 4th, 1964. We I think they said something recently about talking to me in my sleep, which I do not appreciate. You leave me alone while I'm sleeping. Alright. Well... Let's just get back on mission then, because, I mean, usually those that just get me killed anyway. So, M for missions, we'll go do this. letters. So I guess we'll keep doing that. Okay, so somewhere around here there are some more little letters that are... Do we watch that already? I'm pretty sure we did. Little s slips of paper that are zip-zapping around. We just need to chase them down. But also... Be less cool.
you run. I hear something. What am I hearing? Am I hearing my quarry? Can I get up there? Wow, I'm running in circles. So I'm in dead letters, which is where I want to be. I'm not seeing much. That's no normal piece of paper. There we go. We're doing this again. smoking ban. Dear elected official, thanks to the recent smoking ban in my state, I am happy to inform you I will not be voting for you in the next election. As everyone knows, smoking is being banned because the smoke is toxic to the aliens that the government sold our planet to in a secret deal. If humans keep smoking, the aliens won't be able to live on Earth. Our air would be poison to them. If you government traitors can't stop people from smoking, then you won't get your millions of dollars from the aliens. I have a website. People know what's going on. We're going to keep smoking no matter what. This is a national emergency. Politicians are handing the planet over to alien overlords. We won't let you. We will resist. I will smoke forever. A proud smoker slash rebel slash patriot. I don't have anything to say about that. Wow. These guys really do like to move around, don't they? This time, there were going to be Show more of them. One more page. Yeah, there are. Okay. Finally, a door I actually have clearance to open. Dear gentlemen of the Society of Sciences, it has been some time since I sent my initial letter. I hope it is not the case that you dismissed my claims outright. In that hope, I am writing you to once more ask for your help in understanding the oddity that has befallen me in my home. I have recently begun renting a new apartment in the city. The space is nothing special, though for a time I found the isolation quite soothing. Recently I have begun experiencing a strange occurrence when I am in my kitchen, a tiny little thing with not much but a sink, I sometimes lose myself. My surroundings change. I find myself standing on strange, dark stone. I stare out at a colorless sky, as white as undisturbed snow, terrified of moving. Perhaps this is a brain issue. I think not, as it feels terribly real. This has been occurring for some months now, and I've become frightened of entering the kitchen. If it's not too much of an inconvenience, I would dearly appreciate a visit from one of your professionals to see what they make of it. I await your response with little expectation, but with great hope. Very truly yours, Lorraine Fitzgerald. <laughs> so, so this lady wrote a letter to the Society of Sciences, hoping that they would send a professional over <laughs> to, to 
do some science in her apartment. I guess she was at wit's end. Fortunately, the Bureau got a hold of her correspondence. There's definitely some activity up here somewhere. Like everywheres. I'm a plaid suit in a pinstripe world. I'm a plaid stripe plaid suit in a pinstripe world. And one of them is redacted. Fascinating. I hear a radio playing music. Look at all this. My clock is shaped like a cat and its eyes move and I think it's angry, but I keep apologizing and it won't stop, but I said I'm sorry, 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 etc. But it won't leave me alone and I don't know what it wants and I can't keep apologizing, G fo do You see it now too. It told me everyone is here and I need to be careful so they won't so they don't see me writing this letter. It wants me to stay with it, with my eyes, on its eyes, and moving very fast, but I can't keep going, and I worry they will forget about me, so I need to write you about this, because I can't keep going, but the cat will, because of its eyes redacted. I've seen that clock, and I don't like it either. We haven't been down on this side yet, have we? Okay, it's just that. Then we've seen enough. There it is. Zip zap soup. Yeah, how do we do that? Alright, that wasn't so bad. I don't know about knowing where it's going to end up, but... Hey, you have questions, and the prophets have your answer. If you are truly intrigued, watch the time. We've lost about 45 days in the past four years. The shortening of days, this is why the Vatican is a sundial and also simultaneously a keyhole. Another thing while I'm here, if you want the secret to everything, compare plasma next to brain cells. The sun plus moon are composed of plasma, simply light, not planets. After this is cemented in your psyche, ponder the current whereabouts of you, I, and humanity reside. That sounds like somebody that Logic would make a video about. What if Logic is working for the Bureau? He's doing, uh, what is it called? Reinformation? To the esteemed members of the American Psychiatric Council, I'm writing you to inquire about the significance of dreams in relation to one's mental health. I'm aware that there are many books purporting to contain the true meanings of dreams, but I have reservations about their legitimacy. I understand that this is not usually done, but I would greatly appreciate your thoughts on my condition. Ever since I was young, I have in, had intensely vivid dreams. They only occur sporadically, but in them I witness very strange events. I understand dreams can seem real at the time, but these feel markedly different. They do not occur often, perhaps only one or two a year. Last night I had one. I saw a small, empty town. 
It was utterly dark. There was a lake at its center. Shadows of people moved around me, muttering odd things. A bright light woke me up. I was screaming in my sleep. My wife had been shaking me for minutes before I woke. Because of this recent incident, I have decided to seek help. The doctor says I am physically fine, but I wanted to consult your expertise. Thank you for your valuable time. Yep, that does sound upsetting. Oh, are the letters just like bursting in through the door? How exciting. It's kind of twisty up there. Does the oldest house procure the letters for the bureau? Okay, so let's see if we can get to containment in the in the Panopticon. Not that way. Pretty sure I've opened this one too, but this is one of the places that hurts me. But there's a stuff back there. Fine. figure that out sooner or later. Were these guys here before? I want to go in there. All these places that I can't go are places that I want to go. I suppose we'll get there eventually. Pretty unlikely that they would put something like that in front of me and not let me go there. What is this? Put a record on. I found this token. Any idea what it does? Ah, that is a jukebox token. Little bastards turn up in the weirdest places, like bad pennies. The rangers use them to activate an old object of power. A jukebox, I assume. Does it have any good songs? Nope, just the one record. Hey, be careful turning it on, though. When it's playing, you get a free trip to the formation. The formation? Sounds neat. That sounds ominous. Why does it send you there? That too. The Bureau had been wondering that for years. I mean, it's just a pile of rocks built by God knows who, but... Well, researchers have confirmed it's in the same threshold as the quarry. Well, no one's ever been able to map a physical route to the formation for maintenance. So it's in the quarry? You just don't know where? Pretty much. We only send in annual expeditions to the formation now. Checkups, Salvador calls them. This year's team went in the day the Hiss arrived. Oh. Think of it. The song should have brought back hours ago. I can go in and take a look. I'd appreciate that. The jukebox is kept just past the security booth over there. Just put in the token and enjoy the ride. Yeah, I don't want to hear about things right now. I have to go. I got stuff to do. You're not the only one who's busy, you know. Dude, dude, you stand at a table. Jukebox tokens can be constructed at control points or earned through stuff. Apparently, Arish has more to say to me. Lots of errors on this one. But I don't want to hear it right now. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, 
Yeah, let's give it a try. So this appears to be some kind of challenge dungeon. Hopefully it's not 50 floors deep. Investigate and clear the four island sites. 25 minutes. Well, that's a bit of a problem. to cleanse a broadcast plate. Seems like it'd be across a bridge, huh? really uncool of you. Oof. Alright, we'll try that one more time, and then after we get rolled, I think it'll be time to call it an episode.
think I might be a little underpowered for this. Sniper, no sniping. busy. This one's mine now, thank you. Man, don't engage miniguns at close range, especially when you're not looking at them. Okay, well, we are out of time, and I am pretty sure that I am underleveled for this, so we're going to call it an episode. Come back and see us again for, well, I mean, 17 more minutes of this, probably. Uh, talk to you soon.